My name is Nikki Nakayama. I am chef owner of Ennaka. I'm Carol Ida Nakayama. I'm the sous chef and co-owner of Ennaka. Our food is a modern take on Japanese kaiseki. We do 13 courses. Japanese kaiseki is rooted in uh, a Buddhist monk tradition. It comes from tea ceremony. And it started out as food that just accompanied tea ceremonies because tea is known to have very harsh and bitter flavors. So all the food that was created for that was to sort of alleviate any of that harshness. Americans do tend to have a fascination with Japanese culture in, in many different ways, and food is one of them. And I think it comes down to the fact that it's not just simple, but there's an artfulness to it. There was a time when Japan was a country that didn't have a lot of wonderful ingredients. The beautiful plating and the beautiful presentation of it was to make up for the lack of ingredients because you can only get a small amount of fish, so you put it on a big, beautiful plate, and that sort of like makes up for that lacking of something. And it was a representative of like trying to make do with what little you have, but loving it and appreciating it. When people do actually taste Japanese food and understand that, oh, this is what this ingredient tastes like, they can't help but enjoy it. There's so much of nature in it. It's the simplicity. It's the ability to take an ingredient, understand what its true flavor is, and to know how to enhance the best aspects of that flavor, and to take away the negative aspects of that. Um, and it's a constant restraint on using an abundance of other seasonings to hide flavors. To me, that's the core of what makes Japanese food Japanese. My last trip to Japan, I had the wonderful opportunity to speak with uh, several chefs of really amazing restaurants. And they have this incredible appreciation for ingredients that were very representative of the area that they, they're in. Chefs in Osaka was like, this is only available in Osaka. Chefs in Tokyo was like, this is a very Tokyo style. And I couldn't help but think, how was I being true to Kaiseki if I wasn't representing anything from California. So when uh, Carol and I came back, we talked about doing a all California ingredient Kaiseki, which means like there's nothing that we could bring from Japan. Our cuisine has evolved to represent more of California. Beneath it all, the heart of it is very Japanese. It still tastes like it comes from a Japanese person. The palate is Japanese, even though the ingredients and combinations may be different. If we do our best, and people can walk away from it saying that the heart of this meal is still Japanese, but it's not the kaiseki I experienced in Japan. That's the, the perfect compliment.